Now, the other way that I've tried to bring the uh, California uh, experience to life for my students is really try and capture that moment of discovery, the moment that they found that gold nugget in January of 1848 in that stream. So what I've done in the past is I've taken different um, eyewitness accounts describing how that took place, and you can find these in various resources online. But I read this to my students, and as the students are reading about this event, typically the students tend to think of the actual gold nugget that started this whole thing as a relatively large object. Sometimes I'll ask my students, well, how large do you think that this nugget was that they found? And students will typically say, you know, maybe um, as large as my fist or maybe, you know, as large as my thumb or something like that. And so I go through the entire account and then I pull up an actual picture from the Smithsonian of the gold nugget that they found. Now, you might not be aware, this nugget, the original first nugget, is in the museum in Washington, D.C. And I remember once uh, when I was in Washington, D.C. looking at this, I thought, wow, how could something so tiny and so small create such an entirely huge event in history? So, for example, here's a picture of it on a person's finger. So it's about the size of, I'd say, maybe like a fourth or an eighth of a postage stamp. 